In today's video, I will teach you how to make a circle image using PicMonkey. Let's get started. First, open the image that you would like to edit in PicMonkey. Now, in the sidebar, open the Frames tab. Here, click on the Shape Cutouts, and you can now select your preferred shape. But for this video, we will make a circle cutout image, so I'll use the circle cutout frame. You can also move the frame around by clicking and dragging on the shape. Once you're satisfied with the framing, you can now click Apply. Now, crop your canvas to the size that you want or change the dimensions. But keep in mind that cropping is different from resizing. Cropping images simply removes a part of a picture, whereas resizing will change the pixels and resolution to fit the new file size. To crop your image, simply click on the image, then go to Edits, and under the Canvas Edits, select Crop Canvas. Now, you can freely crop your canvas by clicking and dragging on the corner handles. Or you can set your preferred aspect ratio or input your own dimensions in the width and height text box. And once you're satisfied, you can now click Apply. If you want to freely reposition your image, you can convert it to layer by simply clicking on the lock icon attached to it. Now, you can resize and reposition your image cutout around the canvas. You can also add a background to it by simply clicking on the background color panel and select a background color. To add an image background, simply go to Photos and Videos panel and either select from PicMonkey's thousands of free and premium stock images or upload your own image. Now, click and drag your background image into the canvas and in the Layers panel, drag the background image layer below your image cutout. Now, you can reposition and resize the background of your image to your liking. Once you're satisfied, you can now save the image to your computer or share it to your social media accounts. If you find this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new tutorials.